Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Yes, I am back. Sorry, I've kind of been MIA for a little while. I, uh, I kind of lost my funk, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood to be in front of the camera. And I'm starting to see that a lot with other YouTubers, too. Like, this virus thing is just taking it out of us. You know, we just, we're losing our crojo and we're, yeah, it's, uh, it's sad. But it happens, right? Anyway, uh, I have a few things to show you. Yes, I do. One is my crochet A hat. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I have, obviously, I've been trying to crochet and I have a few things done. So, um, that goes with that. Okay. So, I, I, on Instagram, I posted these and on my Facebook page. But I started messing with the bobble stitch. The one stitch that I absolutely hate. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But I'm starting to like it. Slowly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I made this hat. And I don't know if you are subscribed to Miss B's uh, Facebook page. M-R-S dot B apostrophe S. Um, she has fantastic patterns. Uh, and But the most of them are all based around the bobble stitch but she has beautiful hats and so I thought well okay I I kind of fudged the pattern I bought the pattern then I kind of fudged it a little bit because there was one part in the pattern that I I was kind of like I don't understand that so um I decided to do my own thing and so I made a ponytail hat with the bobble stitch right there and I did the bobble stitch and then I did um, two rows or one row of the half double crochet and then one row of the half double crochet in the third loop so that's where you get those lines in between so it turned out pretty good, I think. Very colorful. And then I designed a hat. It's a slouchy hat and it's done with V stitches. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, I didn't turn my light on. Hang on. There we go. We're a little bit better there. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, V stitches. And it's with the same yarn, which was, I can't remember. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, um, if, I, if I figure it out, I'll put it down below. Or I'll put it right here. So anyways, so yeah, that's the slouchy hat. Okay. And then I made... Okay, maybe I'll turn the camera just a smidge. Oh, whoops. Okay, excuse my messes over here. Okay, so I uh, basically did a um, granny square, big granny square. And then I did a granny square on the back, but it's just plain green on the back. And then I did my arms. And then I did my small um, cuff. And this cuff goes about there, you know. Um, it's extremely comfortable. Holy cow. I was really surprised. But I just love it. 
it's green if you can't tell I don't know my camera's been acting weird with colors lately so and I made a slouch hat to go with it again I did the puff stitch with this one so um, absolutely love this pattern my own pattern my own my own my own stuff so then I did um, the cro uh, crocodile no wrong crab stitch <laughs> wrong animal crab stitch around here in this mint green color but I was really 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 happy with the way this turned out okay next one okay so here's the next one I made and um, I am also happy with the way this turned out I made this one a little bit smaller than I would normally wear but it's a campfire cardigan Oop. there's the back and again I did the um, the cuff this cuff's a little bit shorter but oh so so comfortable um, this is the I believe the loops and threads tweed I remember correctly <laughs> um, and it's just it looks all speckled it's here, I'll show you do see now when you wash this because I washed it it doesn't look like this when it's first washed but then after you wash it all of these pieces come out and it gives it this really rustic-y kind of look to it which I absolutely adore I just oh I just love this so much so again loving 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 this okay you're gonna have to be oh getting sexy there are you okay you're gonna have to stay there she's gonna have to be shirtless for a minute okay also I am starting to make another sweater um, and this one is yeah it's this way it's gonna be a bit different so here is here is the yarn that I'm using I am doing <laughs> challenging myself I'm doing the whole front piece in puff stitch um, so I'm doing puff stitches and um, granny stitch but with two stitches not three so I did the whole front piece and then I'm doing the back piece in a solid color not finished it yet but it's like a wheat color um, and this is all v-stitch it's it's kind of hard to see but uh, don't know if you can see it probably not but it's all v-stitch so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have this front piece and the back piece is gonna be like that and then I'm going to do the arms in this color and then I'm going to give it the the tight sleeves at the bottom too so I'm hoping it's going to turn out um, not sure what I'm going to do with the collar yet I might make it a turtleneck I don't know haven't decided but it is going to be a heavy sweater and uh, it's going to be so comfortable when it's done but what I'm using is Premier Serenity Chunky in oatmeal and 
uh, Loops and Threads Charisma Tweed in wood grain. Okay. So I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. I'm hoping it's going to turn out really good. So there's that. And then I got, it was funny because I was, uh, I was in Sharon's Zoom when I got this package. Um, and I was just so happy. I've been waiting for these. Usually it takes about four or five days to get these, but because of uh, the whole COVID thing, it took a couple weeks. Come out, come out. Urg. There we go. So I showed these on my Instagram as well. They're mugs and I designed them. Isn't that cute? If you can't read it, it says, I'm a crocheter. I self-isolated way before it became a thing. <laughs> so it's red inside. It's got a red handle. I just absolutely love this mug. So, um, I'm actually not going to be selling these. Probably not. I might. I don't know. Because it costs quite a bit to make them and have them shipped. It costs probably $17 per mug and that's not with shipping. So for me to actually um, ship it and everything, it's probably going to cost way too much and nobody's going to want to buy it. <laughs> But if you do, let me know. Uh, so what I did was I got five of them. And I'm going to give them away. So I'm probably going to um, put them in, in with some other giveaways that I'm going to be doing throughout the summer. Okay, so I love this mug. I, have, I might have to keep one for myself. Yes. So, hey, let me know. I, I did one um, cooking video. I just finished another one today. I have to upload it. But I have a new segment on my channel that's called Cooking with Crochet A. I want to know what you guys think. Okay. Because with this self-isolation, there's not a whole lot that we can talk about other than what we're working on or what we're not working on or whips and whatever. And I just thought I'd try something a little different. I mean, George is working, but his carpet trails are probably not going to be as frequent because there isn't really anything to talk about right now. Um, and, you know, so I kind of thought, well, you know, I'll uh, mix it up a little bit. So tell me what you think. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I had to, to say. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't. Holy cow. Almost forgot. <laughs> I got some happy mail. I got this a couple days ago and, uh, I wanted to share it with you. I got a card from my good friend Rosalie from Yarn It Out. It says friends, friends, f f f f let's try that again. <laughs> friend, you are a blessing. Um, inside, she's just basically saying that she's thinking about my sister, she's thinking about me, and she's sending yarny hugs to us. Um, and it said, it's your it's in your nature to be good to everyone around you and you deserve the best blessings of this beautiful time happy Easter isn't that cute it's so adorable and she sent me a tea it's I don't have my glasses on guys sorry <laughs> even though they're sitting right beside me holy okay it is organic ginger root. Supports healthy digestion. You see that? 
There we go. Um, I can't wait to try this. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I can't, uh, maybe I'll do, ah, I'll do that in my new cup. How about that? Yes, I am going to do that right now. Ta-da! And I'm going to put it in my cup right now. I'm going to go and get some hot water. So... Thank you so much, Rosalie. Mwah. I love you, love you, love you. And don't tell anybody, but I got a package coming to you. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. It's a very special package just for you. All right, guys. That's all I have to say now. Um, I will talk to you guys later. And hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos out now that I'm feeling a little bit better. Okay, <laughs> so I will talk to you later. Bye!